In this today's tutorial we are going to build real-time database, like Firebase using Node.js, Express, and Socket.io. Let's ask ChatGPT for a help. This code provide us with a solid foundation to build every real-time application we use and love, like chat application, social media, live location tracking, gaming, live streaming. Using system design, real-time part of the above-mentioned app, I will be explaining three main concepts of subscribe to single document, collection of document, or part of collection using query to get up-to-date data. Today we are going to build a simple app where user can subscribe to document event, complete collections of document, or query document. Here we are going to query by state of California and in other window using state of Florida. As of now we don't have any city in this state so result is empty. Let's add city A to the state of California. It's added to our collection of cities and where we have filter by state of California but not in state of Florida. Let's add another city but this time to the state of Florida. It's added to our collection of cities and in query by state of Florida. This time let's add a city in state of New York. It's added to the collection but not to query result. Let me add few more cities to demonstrate we can delete and it will be update in collection and query or delete from query and reflected in collection. And let's delete some more for fun. To initialize our node JS project we can use GitHub Codespaces or create a new directory on our local machine and open it in VS Code. Once the Codespaces have started, we can use the integrated terminal to initialize the node. JS project using the command npm init y. Next, we will install the required dependencies for the project such as Express, EJS, Socket.io. In the package, JSON file, we will add start and dev scripts. We will create a new file called server. Let's copy code from GPT and paste it in VS Code. Function to compare queries to single document to emit event to subscriber. As this video is about the server side, I have already created some web pages using chat GPT to save time. Project GitHub is linked down in the description below like and subscribe button. As I can see that the function to return all cities it's missing let me add that here and we can subscribe and unsubscribe to query but there is no way to return the query. Let's add that here and we can use this to subscribe to query so let me move subscription to query to a function and call it from both of the events subscription and query. To run the code we generated from GPT, we will first open the terminal and run the dev script by using command npm run dev. We will wait for the script to launch. Once the application is running, we can open multiple browser to simulate multiple clients and navigate to localhost. Port 3000. And let's test if it work as show in demo. We'll be explaining how to subscribe to a single document using real-time live location tracking. To begin, we'll set up an array called locations to store our location documents. Next, We'll simulate a client subscribing to a specific location document by creating a query that filters the location's array by a specific ID. On the server side, we'll first check if the query exists in the location's array. If it does, we'll find the list of sockets or active users of this ride. We'll then emit an event to the user subscribed, or a ride underscore update event, if the ride is over. This is one example of how you create a live location tracking feature for a ride sharing app or a delivery service. We'll be explaining how to subscribe to a collection using a real time game leaderboard. To begin, we'll set up an array called top 10 to store our leaderboard documents. Next, we'll simulate a client subscribing to a top 10 leaderboard collection by creating a query that filters the top 10 array by score and descending order. On the server side, We'll first check if the query exists in the top 10 array. If it does, we'll find the list of sockets or active players of this game. We'll then emit an event to the all the players subscribed to the leaderboard, for example, a leaderboard underscore update event. This is another example of how you can create a live leaderboard for a game or a tournament. We'll be explaining how to use real time updates to subscribe to a sub collection using a query in a chat application. We'll start by setting up an array called messages to store our chat documents. 
First, we'll take a look at private chat subscriptions. A client can subscribe to messages sent to them by creating a query that filters the messages array by the recipient's user ID and sorts them in descending order by the date created. Next, we'll take a look at group chat subscriptions. A client can subscribe to messages sent to a specific group by creating a query that filters the messages array by the group ID and sorts them in descending order by the date created. This is one more example of how you can create a live chat feature for a social media platform, a team collaboration tool, or any other application that requires real-time updates on a sub-collection of documents. Comment down below if you want to watch me build scalable Instagram, Twitter feed. In conclusion, we've learned how to use real-time updates with Node, JS, Express, and Socket.io to, to build real-time database like Firebase database. However, there are some shortcomings to this approach that should be considered. First, in order to make it real database, we need a persistent database such as Postgres or MongoDB could be added to the system. Second, the function that compares the query could be improved to handle more complex queries and optimized for performance. Third, to handle more traffic and scale the system horizontally, Redis could be added as a caching layer. Fourth, Additional logic could be added to filter the query in order to optimize the emit event. Overall, this tutorial provided a basic building block for creating real-time updates in your application and there are many ways to optimize and improve the system. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button, share with friends, subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions or video suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching until the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.